morning, welcome. It's FA Cup Day. My name's Phil. This is Leicester Fan TV. We thought we'd have a look at the team news. To be fair, I've been caught out. It's been out for 15 minutes. It normally doesn't come out till an hour before kickoff. But they've done us. Get your views and get your comments on the team news that is out there. Uh, we've got Tom, we've got Chappers, we've got Jamie from the Foxes Arms coming on live. If you want to come on live, just click on the live link that I'll drop into the comments here. This is your pre match fan zone show. Good afternoon to you, wherever you're watching from. John is watching. Hi, John. How are you? What do you think to today's team? I can read it out to you briefly before I bring the lads in. It is uh, Schmeichel in goal, James Justin, Johnny Evans, Sanku and Chilwell. So no changes at the back there. Then we've got Ndidi. We've got Dennis Pratt. We've got Yuri Tielemans. We've got uh, Perez in for his first game since the restart. Start. Uh, Harvey Barnes and Jamie Vardy. So no James Madison, but I think we know where he is. We'll add Tom in for a chat in a minute. Get your views in, get your comments in. We want to know what you think to today's team. So let me add in some of the guys. We've got Chappers here. Let's add Chappers in. Hi, Lee. Hey. How are we doing, guys? All right. Can't hear you, Lee. I'm not sure why. Let's add Jamie in. Come on, have the devil, are we? I'm very good. How are you, hey. Tom? Can I hear you? Hello, mate. You're right. It's can just you, guys you hear me? we can't hear. I can hear you, Chapper. I can hear you. Okay, I'll take him out and I'll um, add him back in. Uh, Tom, let's start off with who's that little fellow on your shoulder then? It's David George. Um, it's cute. Not very old, is he? No, he's only eight weeks. And here's the other terror. Oh, get me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one minute, I'll get you some. Tom, let's start off with um, Madison. Where's Madison today? Uh, apparently, he has picked up a muscle injury. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, rumour has about an hour ago that, that he wasn't going to play at the scene. Uh, but by that, that's a strong lineup for me. You know, I know we've, we've taken out a very creative play who's created 78 uh, chances so far this season, what's a lot. But do you know what? It gives Tindemans a bit of a more freedom role further forward to try and open up to Chelsea today. Jamie, any ideas on formations or anything like that? I think it'll be the the four the four one two. Um, well, he'll play the four at the back as normal. Then he'll, yeah. he'll have Ndidi, Tindemans and Madison, and then Barnes and Perez on the wing and Vardy up top. That's I think that's how it will it will be. So it's sort of a four one four one kind of formation. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, I think it'd be 4-1-4-1. Uh, I think Perez will be pushed out wide again. I think uh, you'll have Undid in front of that back four. Pratt and Tillemans in the middle running the show in there, hopefully, trying to break the play up as quick as they can and win the ball back. Hopefully, it means, like I say, Tillemans can push on forward. Vardy will get some more opportunities today. And that's the biggest thing for me. Need to see the chances. Haven't created enough in the first two games. Got to create some more for Vardy. Can't have one touch in 45 minutes like, 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 like against Brighton. Yeah, a bit Let's controversial. Is that, is that stronger side without Madison? Or with or you think that's stronger without Madison? Because I think it's stronger without Madison. I think at the moment you're probably right, Jamie. I think he's a stronger side. I, don't, I haven't seen much probably in the last six games for Madison that's uh, made me think he should be starting. And, you know, we probably could say about the same with Tillemans, but Tillemans has got the start today because Madison is injured. It's a tricky one because, like I said to you earlier, I think it's 78. He's third in the table for creative chases behind uh, Kevin De Bruyne and uh, someone else. You know, he's, Madison hasn't probably had the, the best season this year compared to last, but he's still created some chances. Uh, probably hasn't created enough in the last probably 10, 12, 15 games for us. Chappers? Yeah, can you hear me now? I can. Okay, I so can't hear you, Chappers. I don't Chappers, know. Uh, what do you make of the team then, mate? Yeah, um, I, I was I'm a bit surprised that Nacho's not got a sniff because he's got a decent FA Cup record. What about, what about Madison being out? Yeah, I mean, it was a bit poor last game, wasn't it? 
to be honest with you. He had his head down a lot. He kept 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 losing the ball. I, he didn't. I didn't play very well. To be fair, maybe he was carrying an injury. Um, Tom, you know more about the injury, don't you? What do you think of uh, Tillman's probably pushing on further in today's game than Lee? Uh, probably yeah. more behind Vardy. It's, it's about time he, uh, he got a pair in with Pratt because the two obviously play together for the Belgian squad. So I'm looking for a good pair in. I think it's going to work today and Tillman's going to finally have a good game. Yeah. What do you think, James? What's the score going to be today then, James? Come on, your prediction. 3-2. Oh, big game. 2 3 two, two. Leicester. Leicester. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Good on, James. Question, uh, really. Well, not really, but you have to have some, some fans think. Who's, who's some fans think, first? oh, no. But, yeah. Vardy, Tillemans and Parat. All going to get goals. Good. Go. Did you hear that, Phil? No, not a word. James, but... James, has, James has gone for 3-2 to Leicester and Vardy's going to get the first goal. Well, let's hope James. Then Tillemans and, oh, and then Pratt. Oh, and then Tillemans and then Pratt. So well, get your money on let's it, lads. Let's hope James, you're absolutely right. Uh, Jamie, um, and I yes, pal. Right, I've got Chappers. You're going to go. Chappers is off. All right. Don't forget you can follow. See you later, Lee. See you, James. Lee, tell everybody what you're doing with your hot mic stuff. Yeah, um, from about quarter to four, I'm going to be on hot mic and on YouTube. Um, I'll post the links out and stuff on Facebook in a bit. See you later, pal. Have fun. Oh, he's gone. That was quick. He's gone. He didn't want to speak he's to gone. me. He's going to get his dinner and he's doing his hot mic stuff. So uh, Again, Jamie, again. Uh, yes, pal. We, we need a bit of respite today, don't we, from the league? Because it's been, it's been tough watching Leicester struggle. And it's been tough watching teams like Wolves and Man U coming on strong. And Chelsea, these teams are catching us up, Jamie. Yeah, that's the worrying thing about it. And beginning of the lockdown, well, just before the lockdown... Uh, start. We were eight, nine points clear of every team, weren't we? Now it's one point of Chelsea, three points of Wolves. I think it's six of Man U, I think. Uh, Sheffield United have dropped down as well now. I think they're out of it. They were close runners. But, yeah, we do need a bit of a break from the from the uh, Champions League. Sorry, not Champions League, the Premier League. Just to try and get a bit of momentum, a bit of confidence. Get a win out of this, whether it's on extra time or whether it's on penalties, just to get a win. So I think we just need a win. To get our ideas booked up, to be honest. A win would do us good before, obviously, Wednesday at Everton. I, listen, I'm going to be a bit controversial, Jamie. I'm a massive, massive FA Cup fan. Normally, I've got to be honest, I hope we win today. Of course I do. I'm not too fussed today. I, I just, I, If you offered me, you get knocked out today, but you pick three points up at Everton, I would take that. I don't know if fans agree with my thinking on that. Obviously, I want to win both. But we've got to get three points in the league. I want the Champions League now. We've been in it all season and to feel us just letting it slip now, Jamie. Personally, I'm saying it, if we yeah, need to lose... It's, but given it's just coming points, out of our grasp, isn't it? It was in our grasp. It was in our own hands now. We're looking over our shoulders and hoping other teams beat other teams for us and the results go right for us. It's, but at the minute, like you say, it's FA Cup day. Knowing Leicester's luck, Sod's law, we'll get to Wembley and go and win it with no... With no fans there, that'd be just our luck, wouldn't it? I really, I hope not, but it'd be just our luck. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, and again, I feel like I'm doom mongering before a game, which I don't want to be. But I was thinking about it yesterday after watching the Wolves game, and I was thinking it was Wolves Villa, and I was sat there thinking, do you know what? I hope this isn't turning into a, a season where we'll look back and go, we should have got to the League Cup final because we had the easiest semi final you could get, Villa. We should have beat them. We beat them twice in the league, I think, this season. Yeah. You know, that should have been us at Wembley in February. FA Cup, if we'd have played Chelsea before the lockdown, I was feeling so confident about it then. And you were thinking... Yeah, yeah, agree. Be in a semi-final of an FA Cup and then maybe on to a final. And Champions League was looking locked on. It just seems to be ebbing away a little bit. But I do sound negative. Well, I think... Have a word with me, Jamie. Tell me off. Come on. Well, to be honest... There's... I agree with you on a lot of them points. Well, on I think 99% of them points um, that you've said that, yes, we, we we were on it. We would have beat Chelsea before, like you say, before the lockdown in the cup, in the cup I was going to say cup final then, in the um, at the quarter final when it should have been played. The League Cup final, we should have got there. We were all talking about being there. Confidence was high. And confidence has just dropped off. So, I really... 
unfortunately, Phil, I'm agreeing with you. I really do agree with you. So I can't pick you up. I can't pick you up because I'm agreeing with you. If we win today, then I'll give you a virtual hug and make you think about it. We need some, we've had quite a few of comments. I don't want people to agree with me. I want people to come up and be super positive. But Simon Richards is saying but I think, bang average at best. Yeah, yeah. Well, you look at Sheffield United. Sheffield United were nearly running away with getting the foot, sixth, fifth or fourth place. They've had a bad start. They've had a bad start to the lockdown as well. I think they picked up. I don't think they picked up any points. I'm not quite sure. So I think it's like it's, it must be difficult for the players to psych themselves up. And I think Chef United and us have found it hard to play. I really do. But I just hope and hope we get a bit of a positive result. I always want Leicester to win. Every game I want Leicester to win. But and as Jason, I'm trying to pull myself together, but it's hard yeah. at the minute. I know, he says he's, he's positive, but then he always is. Listen, I, I always go to every game positive. I, I just, yeah, yeah. I don't know at the moment, I think we've come back up to lockdown and maybe it's the lack of crowds there. Maybe it's the fact you can't get in the stadium today and think I can G them up. But I, that's that's been, it's frustrating watching Leicester play when we have a bit of an average game when you're there. But when you're not yeah, there, yeah. it feels even worse. Uh, ben Morgan says here, getting Champions League football next season is the number one priority. If we want to bring in high class players, yeah. I mean, winning the FA Cup yeah. wouldn't bring you any new players in. Um, no, just all. one thing are, are Man City still suspended from the Champions League next year? Has well, that been? I don't know whether they are at the moment, Jamie, but I've, I've got this suspicion that they are fighting that, and there's every chance they, if that gets turned over, they may go back, you know. So, I, I, I mean, we don't want to, and this is where we're at looking over our, looking over our shoulders and thinking, well, Man City might. She won't get qualified, you know. Um, Lachlan, hi Lock, says we have to prioritise the league over the cup. Winning the cup gets us Europa League, fourth place yeah, yeah. Gets Champions League. Uh, Jamie, we're, we're here for team news. Um, Madison's injured, so that, that sort of opens the door a bit for T. Elements and Pratt, which is quite a nice combination. Obviously, played together in Belgium uh, for yeah. the national. Uh, and Perez not really had a start, I think, since the restart. He's come on as a sub. And time for Harvey Barnes. It could be quite an attacking look. It looks like you know there's plenty of pace there with uh, Vardy and Barnes, uh, and you've got the backups of Tillemans and uh, Pratt and Perez there. So it is. It's an attacking lineup. The all Tillemans and Pratt like having a, a pop at goal. Barnes and uh, Perez hopefully can get down the wing and give Vardy some chances because that's what he's been lacking. We haven't the way we've been playing. We've not been providing him any chances. Uh, better. So I've just reading that one from Joe Halford. I think it is a lot better lineup than what we've had for a while. Without Madison, I do think it's stronger. I really do. I well, really do. It might be controversial. Don't forget, you can click on the link that I've uh, been dropping into the chat. Uh, I'll just check, drop it in again now if anybody wants to click in. Sean has. Let's add Sean into the stream. Sean, how are you? I'm all right. How are you? Uh, Sean, you all right? How much you about yourself? We're good. Good, Sean. Yeah. Thanks. I am struggling to hear Sean like Ross Chappers, but Jamie, I'll ask Sean the question and then you can react to it. Sean, yeah, yeah. what do you think of today's team, Sean? And uh, what's your views on the Chelsea match? Oh, I think he's gone, Phil. He's I gone. Think the streams. Yeah. Sorry about that, Sean. He's, he's walked outside his house and he's got oh. no... Uh, let's see if he can come back in. Sean, can there, you there, Sean? I'm still here, boys, yeah. That's Sean. better. We can hear you now. Stay still a minute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on. There Sean, we go. What's your thoughts, Sean, on today's starting uh, 11? Now, when I seen it, Madison being out, I was a bit um, um and ah Um However, you know, corner kicks, they're always hitting that first uh, man and we never seem to get over it. So is that going to be a good thing? Is that going to be a bad thing? I'm not sure. Someone else can take those. So, fingers crossed on them. And his free kicks never seem to get over that wall anymore, really, anyway. Um, but, yeah, strong, positive lineup, really. Yeah. There's, there's a comment there, Phil, from Jamie Lee McQuinn. He's put, I think Jamie's right. That's a good start to make any comment. I think I'm right. <laughs> you think Madison does try too much, though, Sean? That's what he's put. He says, Madison, he, he tries to do too much. 100% agree on that. Yeah, he twists and turns, and he fancy football. Sometimes it's not 
you don't need this fancy football. A bit like Gray. Gray's the same. It's too much one touch and fancy trickery. What we need, the football we need, we don't really need that, I think, especially today. Yeah. I mean, looking at Chelsea, Man City, um, you know, and seeing actually that, you know, what, you've got Chelsea's first goal, Pulisic. Good finish, but absolute awful defending from Man City. And as long as we don't make that mistake, I think actually this game is for the taking because that Chelsea side, and people are going to disagree with me, but it's not a strong Chelsea side. They're about as good as we are right now um, after the restart. So bring it on and let's get that win and get into the semi finals. Couldn't agree more with you there, Sean. Couldn't agree more with you. Sean Locks is saying here Pratt will give us a boost going forward. Think back to that pass v Brentford earlier this season. I'm a big Dennis Pratt fan, Sean. I think he, had, he adds balance into the side. I, I, I struggle to see Tielemans and Madison playing well together or Perez and Barnes. We've got too much attacking play. And I think Barnes, sorry, I think Dennis Pratt, Sean, adds in the right ingredients. He adds balance to the side. Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, actually seeing Tillman's performances recently, um, before the lockdown as well, and seeing Perrat's performances, I'd choose Perrat over Tillman's. Um, I actually had a few people um, moan because of what I said. The lineup should have been um, the other week. Um, I think it was against Watford. I said we're leaving Pratt out, um, Chowdhury in, and Didian together with the two defensive midfielders. I think that could have worked. Um, but Mende, I, I'm definitely glad that I, you know, I didn't choose Mende. He's nowhere near good enough for us. I'd say I'll float him as soon as we can. Um, in terms of Pratt. You know, is a quality, and I think let's see what Tillemans and Pratt can do together without Madison. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, but then it's where do we go from that? I mean, Mark Harrison is saying he doesn't think Dennis Pratt is, is match fit, though. Um, he, I, I would say, Mark, he must be if he's starting, not being funny, they just wouldn't put a player in who wasn't match fit. Um, MTR says Pratt is calming influence in our game, which I agree with, and he adds. Adds a bit of width in there as well. Yeah, yeah. Leo says, come on, lads. Hope we're doing all right today. Um, Chelsea are playing really well, says somebody on Facebook. I'm fearing for us today. Um, I think but Chelsea have made a lot of changes, though, haven't they? I haven't seen the Chelsea side, to be fair. Yeah. Chelsea have made a few changes as well. So, hopefully, you never know, knowing our luck. So, whereabouts are you watching it from then, Sean? Are you watching I'll it from home? It in, but... the, in the living room. On BT Sports. The West, which part of Leicester is that from then? Uh, it is from Glen Parver area. Oh, next Glen to the Young Fender Zone. You just got out for the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Locks also Not quite. Said, <laughs> also also said there, he says, really excited to see Perez in the squad. Sean, excited to see Perez. Again, jury's out for me on, on Perez. I, I don't think we've seen the best of him. I don't know. Um, I mean, I look back at Gray against Watford, great substitute. Then I look at Brighton with that start, and I'd go, no, absolute different player there. So, can Perez start the game well and then bring Gray in later on? Um, I don't think Perez actually has it. Since coming from Newcastle, I just, I couldn't. And I can see that comment just there about um, Chelsea's lad, Gilmore. Billy Gilmore, yeah, yeah. what a quality player he is. And, you know, let's snatch him up if we can. He's only about 18, isn't it? Something like that. 17, he, 18, he is, I think. He is young, yeah. He is young. Um, so, yeah, as I say, let's snatch him up if we can. We're looking for the youngsters. Um, but in terms of Perez, I think actually we should probably give him another season or we simply offload him. Sean, thanks for joining us. I'm going to let you go. Thanks. Do click on No worries. Again. Thank you. After the match Sean, come on. Oh, I, was going to, I was going to say exactly the same as you then, Phil. <laughs> we've got, hopefully, on the line, we've got the lads from At The Bridge, which is a Chelsea podcast. Can you hear us, lads? Yeah, hear you loud and clear. Brilliant. We can't see you guys, but we can hear you, which is great. Um, oh, oh dear. Well, <laughs> at least you can hear me. That's something. <laughs> That's a start. Your, see if you can add your camera on, mate, because it would be great if you can. Um, but while, while you're listening to us, 
Um, what, what do you think to... Chelsea have made quite a few changes, we're hearing. What do you feel to your side today? Yeah, I mean, it was obviously going to be... There was going to be a few changes because, obviously, we're kind of going for the top four. That's obviously like yourselves. But our ambition is to just now that top four. And if a trophy... You know, we all want a cup to lift. It'd be great to sort of cement Lampard's first season to have a trophy. But it's a pretty strong team. I mean, you know, you've got the likes of Pulisic, Mountain, Tammy finally get a game, which would be fantastic. And you mentioned earlier about Billy Gilmore. You know, it'd be great to see him in that Jorginho role. And he's he's been an absolute outstanding top-class talent this season when he has played. Yeah, he's a young talent, isn't he? So you're, you're expecting we could see some stuff from him today on show? Yeah, I would certainly expect. Whenever he's played, he's been impressive. And for someone of his age, he, he just shows such mature, maturity and calmness on the ball. He looks like he's been playing top Premier League level football for just years. He doesn't seem that fresh academy product that he clearly is. It, you know, he could really become, I mean, it's hindsight my... Uh, might mock me for this, but he could become <laughs> the next big thing. He really could, or he could crash and burn. But hopefully, it's that it's the former. I mean, well, as, as Leicester fans, we feel like we've put out. I would say a pretty strong. You know, a ninety. It probably is what a strong side for us. It's probably you could class it. We've got about fourteen or fifteen players. Who anybody out of those fifteen players is effectively our starting eleven. So this could very much. There's nobody in there weak today. So. This is a full strength Leicester side playing today. So, do you, do you feel like Chelsea might have took it a little bit more lightly, or do you just think it's a good chance to see some of the younger Chelsea lads? Uh, it's it's difficult. The FA Cup, you know, it's been a cup competition that, you know, it's synonymous at the moment in recent years with Chelsea. And obviously, this year's special year, 50 years on from our first lifting of the FA Cup, we got that lovely kit. Yeah, I mean, Leicester seem to be going all out for it. And fair play to them, you know, this is a serious chance of picking up silverware for yourselves. You know, every year you have the top four teams picking up that silverware, your likes of City, Liverpool, Manchester United, Chelsea. And the sides like Leicester, they never get the opportunities, unfortunately. So, yeah, fair play. I mean, it'll be great to see, obviously, our, our loney Ben Chilwell as well, see if he uh, gets uh, a decent game in. He's been... <laughs> He's been he's been a top. He, so, I mean, oh, last week he got criticised by some fans watching him, but I loved his goal. What a strike! So, do you think it'll be a straight swap between uh, Chilwell and Gilmore? Then, do you think that'll be a decent deal for us? <laughs> it would be interesting. You get him on loan, we get Ben. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, it would be very interesting. You guys don't have to sell, obviously, as we know with like Harry Maguire. But you never know. I mean. You have such good depth, squad depth. You saw this season, you lost Maguire, but you brought in Soyunku and he's been absolutely outstanding oh, at the back. Soyunku was already there. He's been a massive Exa part this year, he has. Exactly. You've had that squad depth for him to step in and he's been absolutely fantastic. You know, I mean, we sell, I, our, best, we sell our best defender for 80 million and we get better with the replacement we had and he was already yeah. here. That's how it, good it was. Absolutely it's just it's just good squad depth and good squad management. You know, you didn't need to go out. You could have gone out and got another centre back. You chose not to. And you've you've reaped the rewards. I mean, in defence, I'm looking here, we've got Reese James. Hopefully he'll be a lot more well, match fit, so to speak. Because obviously when he came on against I think it was Villa, he didn't look didn't look the best. But yeah, so hopefully I, something. Can I ask you about Ben Chilwell then? Do you do you, do you want to buy him for a start? Not that he's out. Not that I can sell him to you. But <laughs> you Shut up, Phil. I, I don't know if I've got that much money in my bank, my bank account. To be fair, I mean you're asking sixty million. That's a lot of money for a, an actual individual. And I don't know what I'd personally do if I bought him for my own household. But for <laughs> regards to the club. Yeah, he's a top top <laughs> talent. We we uh we broke we broke down the three main targets this week on our episode, which was obviously Tellez, Tagliafico and yourself with Ben Chilwell. He, he's an English... He's going to be the next big left-back for England. I can't see anyone taking that position off him for the next five, six years. He's going to be in that squad if it's under Southgate or whoever takes over that role in the future. It's just you pay a premium when you buy an English talent and it is what it is. You guys are apparently potentially looking at Tagliafico's replacement. I wouldn't say no to getting the guy from Ajax. He's going to be cheaper. He's got Champions League experience as well. But, 
yeah, Ben Chilwell, he's Premier League proven and you're not so much taking a risk on a, a talent from yeah. outside the Premier League. That's the thing, isn't it? Would you be surprised yeah. that a lot of Leicester fans wouldn't, if we got 60 million for him, wouldn't be that sad if you bought him? It's a lot of money and you could reinvest that so, so well. You, you know, that's a lot of money. I mean, like again, Harry Maguire, you, you've lost him. Maybe that's a little bit sort of settling into the mindset of Leicester fans. I, I'm not sure I'm not a Leicester fan, but you got rid of one player who everyone was calling it. You're going to regret it and you clearly haven't. Is it going to happen again with Chilwell? It's hard to say. It really is. You've got some good young lads. And when you've got Rodgers in, at the helm, he, he seems to know how to pick out a good talent at a cheap price. Like being at Celtic, the amount of talent he picked up and sold on for huge profits was just just outstanding record. I mean, Jamie, for me, the Ben Chilwell saga, as it's going to be this summer, my, my point of view on it is if we, if we do qualify for Champions League and we do want to be a top four Champions League side, what the bloody hell are you doing selling one of your better players to one of your competitors? That would be idiotic, wouldn't it, Jamie? Yeah, it would be absolutely stupid. I mean, perhaps he wants to go for chance of winning things or Champions League football, but we've got to a semi-final. We're in a quarter-final of the FA Cup. Uh, we've got a chance of being in the Champions League next year. He's an England international. Will he get regular games at Chelsea? Look at Jack, uh, Danny Drinkwater. What happened to him when he went Chelsea? So, <laughs> he, he's got to be... Yeah. yeah. It's got, you've got to be careful. Uh, I think the thing with Danny Drinkwater, it's just, it's been a, you've looked at what's happened over the last year. Yeah. I mean, the loan moves, it just seems to be, without going into detail, three controversial incidents have occurred, be it outside of football and two during training sessions. And you just think, what's going on there? He's got such a, he's got, he's, 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 he's a Premier League winner. You know, he came from the prestigious Manchester United Academy and yeah, yeah. he had that, he had a great season with Leicester working with Kante and it just, I don't know what's happened. It's just almost fell apart for him. And it is a shame because, you know, we obviously, we see him as footballers, but they're also, you know, human beings and you don't want to see anyone go through that. But you think some of it is potentially self-inflicted and you just think, yeah, it's such a shame, especially for what we paid for him as well. Well, yeah, I mean, and I don't want us to turn into a bit of the, uh, I mean, we've always been the club that finds the players develops them and then sells them on to these. But when and that's always been all right. But if we genuinely want to be a top four, top five club, Jamie, you just you're gonna to have to stop doing that, aren't you? Stop giving players selling players to Man City, Man United, Chelsea. Yeah. Well if you look at Southampton, Southampton were pushing on and doing well and they've yeah. literally sold all their team to Liverpool. We don't want to become that same kind of team, selling all our best players to Chelsea. So I think, yeah, if you want to push on, you've got to keep, like the, like you just said, you've got to keep the best British talent you have. Like you need to have British talent. And if, you, if you're getting it from the youth team, then fair be it. Build them up and build them up, not just flog them. We, we don't need to sell players anymore, Phil. We, haven't, we don't need to sell players at all. No. Um, right, let's get some score predictions in. Let's start with Chelsea at the Bridge podcast. What do you guys feel today's score is going to be? Uh, let's hope for a nice open game with uh, lots of goals. Let's go 3-2 to uh, Chelsea, of course. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you what, I hope there is goals because the two previous Leicester games have been dull as ditch water, Jamie. Give us a score. <laughs> I'm going for... I could, oh, the way we've been playing, we'll probably, it'll probably be a 1-0 win, knowing our luck, because that's how we've been playing. Well, I'll take yeah, it, to I'll... us. Yeah, of course. To us, yeah, of course. I thought you were going to say the way we've been playing, it would be a 1-0 to Chelsea. No, no. Not extra time or penalties, 1-0. Even if it's a last-minute winner, that would do me down to the ground. I couldn't stand it being a last-minute winner, but... Sean saying extra time, I feel, coming on. I've got a feeling it could go extra time and penalties myself today. I'm obviously hoping for a Leicester win. Uh, I'm going to go 2-1 to Leicester, just like Sean. Jason Clare has said in there. Um, Raj is saying 2-1 to Leicester. Simon Richards is saying 0-2 to Chelsea. Dan Baxter is saying 2-1 to Leicester, but in extra time. Jamie Quillen, McQuillan says 1-0 with Vardy to score. And Raj, I agree with him, says any sort of win will do, to be honest. Anyway, yeah. thanks uh, thanks for... Uh, just shout out where we can find your Chelsea podcast for those people who are watching. It's Yeah, it's, uh, it's at the Bridge Pod. That's obviously on Twitter, uh, Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, simple as that. Very easy. Brilliant. Thanks for coming on today. Really appreciate that, getting your views, the away mm. fans' views. 
Not a problem. Have a have a great game. Stay well and safe, guys. See you later. Cheers. <laughs> I hope it's a good game. Yeah. See you later. Thanks <laughs> a lot. In a bit. That so, was a good winning, Phil. It was good. It was a shame, it, you know, we couldn't see his face, but you never know. Maybe that was a bonus. He's probably got the same as me and my face for radio, Phil. He didn't want to come on, so... He was worse than me and you, could he, Jamie? Let's be fair. <laughs> it's not exactly um, Brad Pitt and George Clooney, is it, on screen? Or is it? Well, I'm going a bit grey. I'm going grey. You've got the little beard nowadays. What's all that going on about? My kids have told me to grow one. I'm not sure. I think it makes me look really old. Anyway. I wasn't going to say anything. Yeah. Uh, Jamie, let's, uh, we'll go live. I'm going to go live at half time. And, uh, yeah, so I'll see you after the game. Hopefully after a Leicester win. Come on, you foxes. Come on, Leicester. Don't let us down. Don't let us down. Right. Thanks, Jamie. See you later. Stay Adios. Cool. All. See you, Jamie, later. So thanks for watching. Thanks for getting all your comments in today. Uh, Sean says, if there was a last-minute goal, I would love Chile to get it. That would be nice. Uh, Gareth Taylor saying 4-2 to Leicester. Aggie says, if we want to become a top team challenging, we need to be a stop being a selling club. Hates me to say Chelsea 2-1, but hope you're wrong. Aggie, I hope to goodness you're wrong. Uh, let us know. Jason Clare says, come on, lads, let's do this. Rye saying, come on, you foxes. That's it. Keep getting the, the comments in. We'll go live the minute it is half time. So if you want to, uh, come on here, come and watch what uh, we do, what the fans are saying. Thanks as ever to all the sponsors. Come on, Lester. Let's get a win back under our belt. We'll see you after the match. Cheers. Get on your feet.